Welcome to a demonstration on how to get started with Geomatica Cloud on GeoCloud. Geomatica Cloud on GeoCloud is a brand new way to access Geomatica using a pay per hour or subscription based model on the cloud. All you need is internet access and you can use Geomatica anywhere at any time using a pricing model that fits your project's unique needs. During this video, I will show you what you can do with Geomatica Cloud on GeoCloud how to sign up for an account, get started on GeoCloud, and give you some tips on maximizing cost savings using the pay per hour and subscription models available on GeoCloud. For those of you who don't know, Geomatica is a best of breed photogrammetry and remote sensing software suite, delivering outstanding results for processing and analyzing satellite, aerial, and UAV imagery. Geomatica offers an easy access to many advanced processing capabilities from photogrammetry, radiometry, SAR and INSAR processing to image analysis. Generate precise elevation models, create seamless orthomosaics, map deformation, or use advanced machine learning to analyze your imagery all within Geomatica Cloud. Getting started is simple. Just create a free account on the geocloud.work site using the workplace tab. Once you've signed into your account, all you need to do is select the Geomatica Cloud version that suits your processing needs and click select and then create app. If you don't already have storage associated with your account, you'll be prompted to add storage here. Storage sizes range from one gigabyte up to 10 terabytes in size. The storage volume persists across multiple sessions on GeoCloud. So commonly used files such as reference imagery and area of interest shape files can be stored in the GeoCloud storage until the next time you need to use them. Similarly, any other data that you upload or any value added products that you generate will persist in the storage until you delete the storage device. Before you can start your Geomatica Cloud machine, you need to start the storage. Once the storage is running, you will be charged the active price as shown beside the blue arrow. With the storage running, you can click on the file manager tab and upload files either individually using the upload files button or you can upload multiple files at a time using a secure file transfer protocol. After you've uploaded all of the data that you want to work with, you can then start your Geomatica Cloud machine. Once your Geomatica Cloud machine has started, simply click on the open desktop button which will download a remote desktop connection file. Connect to that file copy and paste your password from the GeoCloud site, click OK to establish connection to your virtual machine. Now that you're connected to your virtual machine, Geomatica is already installed and licensed with the latest service pack version available. To begin processing, you can simply access your GeoCloud storage file through the network attached storage, open some imagery, and begin processing. Thus, you're able to begin your processing with Geomatica faster and easier than ever before and using the pay per hour model or a subscription model in a way that maximizes your efficiency. By taking advantage of Geomatica's powerful and flexible Python API, you can easily run repeatable workflows with more flexibility than ever before. Once you've completed your processing on GeoCloud, you can simply exit the virtual machine and then on the GeoCloud web page, you can stop the machine so that you no longer are paying the active price and will instead be charged the stop price per hour. If you didn't save any of your value added products to the C drive of the computer and instead saved everything to the network attached storage volume, you can also delete this Geomatica cloud machine so you don't have to pay the stopped price either. Once you've gotten rid of the Geomatica machine, you can download any value added products using the same method, a secure file transfer protocol, or by clicking on the download button to get any files that you want off of the network. Once that's completed, you can stop your storage, which again will revert to paying the stopped price, which is significantly cheaper than the active price. As mentioned before, all of your data will persist in this storage device unless you click on the little garbage can icon and delete it. Geomatica Cloud provides users with access to Geomatica's powerful tools on an as needed basis, reducing the need for capital investment in the software, making one-off projects, proof of concept studies, or infrequently repeated projects more cost effective and easier than ever before.